Hi, this is Drina, and today I wanted to bring you a clip on some different ways of chopping and preparing vegetables because sometimes we do things the same way all the time. And I was having dinner with my sister once and she sort of looked at our salad and said, well, it's really neat that you chop your red peppers that way and your cucumbers that way. And I thought, geez, I never really thought of that. But it's true, I tend to chop things the same way, and you probably do too. So I thought I'd bring you just a few ideas with really common vegetables on how to maybe mix it up for your salads or food preparation um, day to day. So let's start with some lettuce. And instead of tearing your lettuce into um, pieces, sometimes what I do is I layer up my leaves and do almost a julienne and it makes it actually really quick to chop this way too. If you layer up your leaves and just quickly work through, you need a good sharp knife and what you get is almost like ribbons of greens and that works really nice for heartier greens too like collards or kale. So that's one trick with lettuce. It's, it makes it such a pretty salad when you do it that way. And then with cucumber, I once did this at a um, just a little sort of potluck we were having. I took the cucumber and I just poured out the seeds. And I do this every night when I make salad because our family doesn't really like the seeds. Nope. Um, you could do it with a spoon, but I tend to use a knife. And then you cut it. You can cut it thin or thicker, and you have nice half moons. Um, and I did this once at a party, and someone said, what is that? <laughs> like they were so used to seeing the cucumber with the seeds that they didn't realize what it was or how it looked without. And then another thing that I do with cucumbers sometimes, I'll push that aside, is cut it in strips around the seeds, and instead of cutting it in half moons, I'll cut it into thin strips. So I'll slice it down to make it thin, and then a really fine julienne. Again, you need a sharp knife, but if you can see that on the knife, it comes out nice and thin, almost like matchsticks. And that's really nice for a salad. So that's another way to do cucumber. And then for zucchini, I have one of these handy um, tools that goes on your finger. Uh, it's Quite neat. At first, I, it took a little while to get used to a vegetable peeler like this, but it's actually very handy. And so, if you're doing zucchini, you cut off the ends, and using a vegetable peeler, just get some nice ribbons. And really, if you did this with, I do that with zucchini, and then I do the same thing with carrot. Just like, instead of how you would peel a carrot to get rid of the outer skin, just keep doing it. Just keep working through the carrot. And you can do a whole salad with those vegetables like that. And it's pretty. You could do that. Um, you could add lettuce. All kinds of things. And then for celery, I saw this once on a cooking show and I thought, I've never done that. Um, the chef talked about peeling celery. And what he did was he sort of got the heavy strings off the ends of the celery. And you can see if you do that, it takes away some of that stringy fiber in celery. And then you can go ahead and cut that as you want. A lot of times people just do these in half moons. I like to cut it down a few times down the length and then make it really fine for salads or to add to sandwiches or something like that. And then finally, this one you might have seen a few times, if you're doing a pepper, um, the most common way I cut this is I cut off the sides and then slice it into thin strips or into cubes. But if you can get some nice rings with your pepper, this is really nice for a tray or a sandwich or on top of a pizza. Just take out the center. And that's so pretty, like on top of a pizza. Peekaboo! <laughs> and now I've just totally embarrassed my daughter, haven't I? Yeah. <laughs> so 
So anyhow, I hope those um, suggestions give you a few ideas to kind of mix up making your salads or things for your sandwiches every day. And just to kind of think outside the box. Sometimes when you're having salads every day, they get a little bit mundane. And if you can move things up, mix them up a little bit, your family might, just might, enjoy them more, right? Right, maybe. Uh, right. Not really. I Thank don't really like vegetables. <laughs> you like some. Some. So, yeah, celery is not your favorite. Only if there's almond butter on it. Almond butter, okay. Well, that works. So thanks for tuning in. Thank you to my daughter for taping. Yeah. And uh, join me again for some more tips and plant-powered recipes. Thanks, guys. Bye.